Special Containment Procedures. SCP-8408 is to be covered with a standard issue cotton bed sheet at all times. The sheet is to be washed once per month. Removing it for any other purpose is strictly prohibited. Can I sit at the table? SCP-8408 sits. It is able to remain still for several minutes, but then begins to fidget. It slowly starts tugging at its sheet. S1. You may. Dr. Sharrow shuts off the faucet, but does not turn her head. S1, SCP-8408. Are you trying to take off your sheet again? Don't lie to me. S2, nuh-uh. Dr. Sharrow's knuckles whiten around the edge of a plate. S2, but I'm not. Do you intend to break your promise, 8408? Dr. Sharrow twists the faucet and resumes dishwashing. S2, no, I'm sorry. S1, well, do you? Narrator, silence. Don't be sorry, just be better. Excuse me, m um, Dr. Sharrow. Dr. Sharrow's mouth twists with irritation. Can I take off my sheet? I don't feel so good. S1? Yes, SCP-8408. I'm not going to have this conversation with you again. No, narrator. Dr. Sharrow sighs. But, but I really am sick. My skin feels like it doesn't fit me anymore and two of my teeth fell out and I think I'm starting to taste colors. Dr. Sharrow snaps her book closed and SCP-8408 flinches. If you're going to stay here, I don't want to have to look at you. You owe me that much. I'm, I'm sorry about what happened. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't know. Get out of my sight, narrator. Dr. Sharrow stands. SCP-8408 exits. SCP-8408 is lying on the floor, still covered by its sheet. Entering, Dr. Sharrow nearly trips over SCP-8408 and stifles a curse. What are you doing on the ground, 8408? Get up. SCP-8408, listen to me when I'm talking to you. Narrator, no response. S1, 8408. Narrator, no response. No response. Dr. Sharrow gingerly removes the sheet. Only pale feathers and sundered skin remain. All else has fled. S1. Thomas. Narrator. No response. Dr. Sharrow nudges SCP-8408 with her foot. S1. 8408. Narrator. No response. S1. 8408. Narrator. No response.